Hello, I'm Stephen Nisbet and I'd like to talk to you about organ stops, their names and the sounds that they make. When you go from one organ to another you realise that all organs are different. However, there is a consistency in which the stop names have been allocated and it's a good system and when you know the system then you can predict what, a, what sort of a sound a stop will make when you pull it out. So let's start with the four basic uh, groups or families of sounds. The first one is the principal or diapason sound. The second is the flute sound. The third is the string sound. And the fourth one is the reed sound. So let me go to the first one, the principal or diapason sound. This is the characteristic organ sound. I'll demonstrate on this Allen digital organ what the principal uh, family sounds like. Here's an eight foot principal stop. another stop in this family and make it a bit brighter. And another one make it brighter still. That's the principal sound and it's the characteristic organ sound. When you hear that you say that's an organ. Now the second group is the flutes. So I'll play some fluty sounds on the organ here. Make it a bit brighter with another one in the same family. Or even brighter still. So that's the flute sound and it's designed to imitate the orchestral flute and the piccolo, other uh, orchestral instruments. Now the third sound is the strings and they are designed to sound like orchestral strings, the violins and cellos, etc. So let's have a listen to the strings on this organ. Quite a gentle sound. Now the fourth category are the reeds and the reeds are different from these other three because the sound is made not by not just by air vibrating in a column of uh, of a pipe, but um, by a brass reed vibrating at the bottom of the pipe. So let's hear some of the reeds that are on this organ. This one's supposed to sound like a clarinet. <laughs> This one's an oboe. This one's a trumpet, imitating a trumpet. Here's another trumpet on the grate. So that's, that's the, uh, the reed sound. The sound is made by a brass reed vibrating in the bottom of the pipe. When we um, hear all these sounds, um, it means that you can uh, predict what sort of a sound you will get when you draw a stop or press down a tab as on this particular organ. So just going back over them again, the principal sound sound, then there's the strings, and then there's the reeds. Now the other thing you'll notice when you look at these organ stops is that they've got numbers beside them. When I have the principal 8 stop drawn then it means that the pitch will be uh, 
the same pitch that you would get if you were playing a piano. So here's the principal eight. That's the same pitch as if I would have on a piano. It's called an eight foot stop because the bottom note in the rank is approximately eight foot long in length. The, the, the metal pipe would be eight foot long. Go up an octave and it's four foot long. Go up an octave and it's half the length again, etc. So the, when we add the four foot, we're getting a, another rank of pipes where the longest pipe is four foot long. So we have these numbers beside it, eight, four, we can have two as well. That's what you heard with the flutes. And you can also have a 16. That's an octave lower. So we have numbers like two, four, eight, 16. They're all powers of two. But not all of the numbers beside the pipe uh, stop names are powers of two. Some of them are different numbers like two and two thirds or one and three fifths. This means that they don't sound on the octave, but they sound in the intervals between like fifths and thirds. Now this gives an interesting effect and it can be useful for filling out a sound in a chorus or it can be used for a lovely effect with a solo. For instance, if I have a flute eight and four together. I could add a mutation. This is the Nazar two and two thirds. All the tears can be added as well. So we can get very interesting melody lines by using the, mot the mutation stops. The other thing that you'll notice about some of these stops is that they've got Roman numerals. For instance here, this stop here is labelled Mixture f f Roman 4. That means that for every note that you play there are four pipes sounding and they are usually pipes that are, are short in length so they give a very bright sound and sometimes they're octaves, sometimes they might be mutations as well. So let's go back to the principal sound. Let's add the mixture and you'll hear this brightness on top. Same thing happens if I go to the swell, the top manual here. Um, It's called Plein Jeu, which is a French organ stop name. So they're called the mixtures. The other stops that you'll notice on the organ are called couplers, and the couplers are used to connect uh, various divisions of the organ together. So if I put on the swell to great, it means that anything that is on the swell will be connected to the great. So if I had that nice sound of the flutes and the plainger, and I had this sound on the great, without it coupled it sounds like this. coupler so we're getting the stops that are drawn for the swell playing at the same time as the stops that are drawn for the grate. I can also connect the pedals to the uh, the manuals as well so over here I've got a swell to pedal a grate to pedal and positive to pedal and without Without the coupler, let's just have a listen to this. If I now put the greater pedal, you'll hear a, 
the sound of the grate coming through as well. So we can couple between manuals and we between couple between the pedals and the manuals. We have uh, two other stops that are here, or it's one stop but it's represented on both the manuals um, and it's called the, the tremulant and let me just demonstrate that lovely sound we had before if I add the tremulant then on the organ what happens is that the the volume of air and the pressure of the air gets varied so we get a vibrato or tremolo effect So that can be quite a sweet sound. So here we have the organ stops, we've got four families of stops, the principles, we've got the flutes, we've got the strings, We've got various reeds. We've got the couplers and we've got the tremolo. So I would encourage you to sit at the organ that you have access to, pull out all the stops, sorry, pull out the stops, not all the time at once, but pull out the stops one by one, have a listen to them.